guys, Ken here, back with another data science video for you today. I'm coming to you from Belize, where I'm on vacation, and kind of celebrating some of the good things in life. Uh, in that same vein, I thought it would be cool to make a video about some of my favorite things about data science, the pros, and also some of the, some of the drawbacks of the profession. Please bear with me, it's a little windy out here, so I don't know how that's going to affect the audio, but hopefully you can still hear me. So as you can imagine, one of the nice perks of data science is the pay is pretty good and usually you're working in technology companies, so there are pretty good benefits. For example, at my company, we have unlimited PTO, we have free haircuts in the office, really neat perks uh, that I really enjoy. The second perk that comes to mind is that as a data scientist, you get to learn for a living. Now I've gone to school a lot, you know, two master's degrees, I'm constantly continuing to learn and that being part of my work is also something that's really cool. That's a part, that's something that helps me grow as a person and that's something that I'd like to have in any endeavor that I do. Part of that learning process is the ability to glean knowledge from other people as well. In data science, you generally work with other really intelligent people and that accelerates your learning. You're able to understand different concepts because you can bounce ideas off of people and you know, I, I can't celebrate that fact enough. I mean, that's something that, that I get a ton of value out of on a day-to-day -day basis. So the next thing that I think is really important as a data science that you get to that you get to have is that you get to work on challenging problems at work. One of the number one drivers for happiness in a job is the ability to basically be stimulated by what you're working on. And that's very common in data science. You're always having to look on Stack Overflow and try and understand new different things. Uh, you're always having to ask people to figure out how to work through a problem. And you're, you're always wrestling with something, uh, trying to figure out how you can do it better, how you can implement it more efficiently. Another big component of job satisfaction is the amount of autonomy that you have at work. With data science, you're generally working on projects individually or in small groups, and you're the subject area expert. So you do have a lot of control over what you're working on to a certain extent, um, and you have the ability to implement solutions how you see fit. Now getting into some of the cons of the profession. So one of the things that data science does require is a pretty big upfront time investment. You really have to learn the skills either through formal education or uh, self-teaching. You have to prove that you know these skills. You have to do a bunch of projects to be able to get into the field. So there is a lot of upfront time cost to getting your foot in the door, to getting a job, to having a successful career there. Another challenge with data science is that the field is so new that it's sometimes unclear what the job description is. And the definition of what a data scientist is is very different across different jobs, different companies, etc. So you really have to think about, especially when you're interviewing, what data science work you're going to do at a specific company and if that matches what your idea of data science is. There's a lot of people that go in, they're like, oh, I'm going to be implementing all these solutions, but they're really doing mostly data engineering. And if your work does not match your expectation of work, that is a recipe for dissatisfaction at your job. When you work as a data scientist, there's a good chance that you're being managed by someone else who might not be a data scientist. And there's a good chance, there, well, there is some chance that you're actually smarter or you have a better subject area expertise, uh, subject area understanding than this person does about data science, what the capabilities are, etc. And so there might be opportunities where you butt heads because you might see something that your superiors do not. And you know, it's important to understand that not everyone is a data scientist. Uh, there are some business decisions that need to be made outside of the data science realm and that all these people at the end of the day are on the same team. But if you're not prepared to work for someone who might not be up to speed with all of the latest and greatest techniques and have a fundamental or really advanced understanding of data science, uh, make sure when you're interviewing, uh, you're actually interviewing the interviewer or whoever's going to be your boss so you can make sure that the 
knowledge matchup is something that you're comfortable with. One more thing is that, you know, for me, I found that a lot of the projects that, I, that I've had to work on on a day-to-day -day basis, they weren't exactly interesting to me. They weren't things that I was really focused on learning about. And so coming out of grad school where you got to choose all of the projects you were focusing on, the work world, the work as a data scientist is not necessarily like that. You're going to have to work on projects that you didn't start, you have to pick up work for other people uh, who already started it, or you're going to be told to work on things that you might not have a ton, uh, believe have a ton of merit. So just be prepared for that. You can make any project fun and interesting because again, there is that autonomy element where you get to do it your way, but you probably will not always work on projects that you are ecstatic about. The last thing I'd like to touch on is the feeling that your work is not value, valued by the business that you're in. Because data science is a relatively new field, a lot of companies, even really high-tech companies, don't necessarily know how to capitalize on their data science teams efficiently. So your work, you, you know, you might do some really cool stuff and people very well might be too scared to implement it because it's new and they don't necessarily understand it. So that is something to be wary of. There's a lot of times where you work really hard on something, you think you have an elegant solution, but for example, if you're using a, a neural net or a random forest where um, it is a bit of a black box, that's very scary to some business stakeholders. Even though it might produce good results, you might not actually be uh, able to sell the, the decision makers on that solution because it's not super comprehensible by, by humans or someone who's not initiated in the data science realm. So that is definitely something to look out for and to keep in mind uh, if you're considering this career path. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please hit that like button if you did. And if you enjoy content like this regularly, please subscribe to my channel. Signing off from beautiful Belize. Good luck on your data science journey.